I'm Ashley and you're watching TTWU. <laughs>
client that I had. I was doing lashes for the, like at the, at the beginning as a mobile lash technician. Mm -hmm. So I would go to this person's house. I would take my lash bed, my lamp, my stool, this huge thing of filled with lash stuff, and I would literally drive it to my client's house in a tiny 2000 Toyota Celica, <laughs> nothing fit, <laughs> and I was only charging $40 for lash extensions. Mm. Yes. So I'm driving south side of Chicago. I'm driving to Romeoville, which I would go to Romeoville a lot for some reason. Just everywhere in my little car in the winter time because I started doing lashes in February. Mm -hmm. And I little by little I got better and then I ended up working and a year later, last month, here we are. Booked. <laughs> <laughs> at 63 Douglas. At 63 Douglas, yeah. <laughs> Sweet 20. 30. 30. I was close. <laughs> oh. So, let's talk about your childhood. How did you grow up, if you don't mind me? Uh, let's see. Um, uh, huh. I was born here in Chicago, mm -hmm. Humboldt Park. I was raised in Okoa, which is a small town in the Dominican Republic. Um, I know that I was in the Dominican Republic for like five years growing up, but that's really all I remember of my childhood was just being in the Dominican Republic mm -hmm. with my grandma, um, my cousins. I mean, I I had a great childhood. Yeah. Yeah. I just actually went back to the Dominican Republic under horrible circumstances. I lost my grandma. Oh, sorry to hear that. <laughs> um, I hadn't been here in going on almost 10 years. Wow. The last time I was there was that for my cotillion. Mm -hmm. I just want to take my hand. <laughs> last time I was there was for my cotillion. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. But I hadn't seen my family in like such a long time. My baby cousins were all big and remember like always being in the backyard mm -hmm. always playing going in the ditch getting in trouble for doing that mm -hmm. getting in trouble for leaving our little block because my grandma my uncle super respected everybody knew them I couldn't cross the street without someone knowing or you know like getting in trouble getting back in. <laughs> <laughs> What up? It's Miss King representing PMG and IFB, and this is PTWU. Spanish. I was in. I came back in the fourth grade, and I was in bilingual. Mm -hmm. Still, the one thing I will never forget is my teacher, my fourth grade teacher putting the consonants on the chalkboard, like our first day of school, putting the consonants on the chalkboard and calling kids and telling them to come and put, like fill in the consonants. Mm -hmm. Literally all I knew was the Dominican Republic. And then I'm just like, uh, I'm like looking at United States and I'm like, Haiti? And I'm like, Africa, Dominican Republic? I, like, I don't know, she's like, no. And then she made me feel so stupid. Yeah. And then she's like, just go sit back down. And then I sat back down and I remember like, I was the only little brown girl in a brown class so I was like with mostly like Mexicans. My best friend, she was Colombian. Mm -hmm. And it was just me. And they were so mean to me. Um, I remember. And then sixth grade, same Spanish. Sixth grade, I was in like a dual language. So mm -hmm. it was like English, but it was also Spanish, Spanish kids. And then for some reason, come seventh grade, I was like full English. I guess it kind of like clicked back in my brain. Mm -hmm. I speak. English. <laughs> so you can't speak Spanish as well. Oh yeah. You don't remember what? <laughs> I mean, it's just the because you you look full black, and I, I understand know. you 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 know you are from the Dominican Republic. Well, let me just put it like this: in the, in the Dominican Republic, what is the like? What do you what do you see most? Do you see more Hispanics there? More blacks there? Or no, they look mix? like me and you. Really? Mm -hmm. they, mm. Oh, this is exactly what I tell people. Do I speak Dominican? But you look. I'm like, well, I am black, mm -hmm. duh. Um, Dominicans are Afro-Latinos, 
we have a strong, 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 strong African, um, and uh, what's it called? What's the word I'm looking for? Influence. Influence, yeah, in our culture. Um, I mean, look, we share an island with Haiti. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Um, if you look at most of the baseball players, they all look black, but what's the last name say? Like Rodriguez. Yeah, Rodriguez. Yeah. You know? And Hernandez. Hernandez. Yeah, yeah, but they're all, they look black until they open their mouth and then, you know, they have a, a heavy accent. But my girl, she came to the Dominican Republic with me uh, for my grandma's funeral. Mm -hmm. And um, she's like, I feel like I'm out west somewhere. <laughs> I was just saying, that was yeah, my yeah, next. Like, How is the, the, the Dominican Republic, does the U.S. kind of, depend on what area you is, favor the Dominican, or? She just, I just, I feel like she just said that in terms of, like, there's a lot of black people. Yeah. Like, it's literally, and sometimes, like, I'll even forget being Dominican. Mm -hmm. Like, you can walk up to me, full-blown full blown Dominican, and I'm going to speak English to you just because I, you know what I mean? And then you're going to be like, hey. Yeah, they speak the world, you know, mm -hmm. but you know, literally. So, like for example, I'm dark. Mm -hmm. Um, if you look at my mom, she's olive. I guess you would say. Mm -hmm. I have an aunt, super light, lighter than, and then I have an uncle that looks like black, and I have another uncle that looks white. So, I feel like Hispanics have the most diversity as far as like skin tone. Um, in our culture, but the same thing here. Lighter Dominicans are considered prettier than the darker Dominicans are. Wow, so it's pretty much, that's everywhere. It's everywhere, yeah. Dark skin is just frowned upon, I guess, I don't know. I don't know why, why do you think that is? I don't know, I used to, I, don't, I remember, I would always cry in fourth grade, I'm not mm -hmm. that, because everybody was amazed to me, and I remember thinking like, the light skinned girls were so pretty. Now I'm looking back and I'm like, mm, you were ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, right? I was cute. No, but I just remember like crying and wanting to be like light skinned. And my mom would always tell me, like, you're beautiful. And I hated my hair. Like, I just, it was just, it was really hard growing up for me as far as like that aspect, mm -hmm. just being like the little brown girl in an all lighter class. Yeah. Um, but after that, you can turn it <laughs> Like, uh, middle school, high school. Probably in high school, I was probably like one of the only, with about three or four of us girls mm -hmm. that were like in the little popular crowd, but that were actually brown. Yeah. We were all mixed. So technically, we weren't considered black. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. And that's. Then that's another thing too, like, people will talk to you like, oh, you have an accent or your hair is different or, what are you, where are you from? And then I'll tell them, oh, oh no wonder, like, no wonder what? Oh, you're so cute or you're pretty. Okay, so if I wasn't half or whatever, if I was full black, then I wouldn't be pretty or whatever. So that would make me upset. But I'm like, I, that doesn't change the fact that you think I'm cute or whatever. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? But I why can't you just say, "Wow, you're beautiful"? What's your What's your nationality? Right, what's your